Hi, it's Jan from The Mountain. This week, my knitting update, my Farrell sweater, sleeveless sweater I've been knitting, and my thrifting hauls from the last few weeks. It's quite big, so please stay tuned, that's towards the end. Here is my sweater. I'm very pleased with it. I've still got all the balls of wool attached to it. There are five balls of wool here. And as you can see, they're always getting tangled up. Here it is. Um, the, the dark green I substituted, it was supposed to be dark brown. I've had to substitute for my dark brown that I didn't want to use because the green ran out. The brown is from a blue textile sheep spun in the grease and it's got a white fleck so it's not as dark as I would like. The red here, as you know if you've seen my previous videos, I had to substitute with my orange homespun merino. And it still pops, it doesn't pop quite as much as the homespun red did, but it still pops. And as you can see here, I've been dividing for the arms, the, sleeve, the arm holes actually, not the sleeves, and the neckline, which has been um, quite a challenge because pattern doesn't actually give me the cast off for the neckline so I've had to just hope I'm doing the right thing. The pattern goes all around the back because I was knitting in the round. I The pattern didn't give me in the round but for me because I'm lazy I actually it was quicker to go round and round and round uh, using the knit stitch than back and forth although now that I've divided I'm going back and forth so it's taking it's the weaving in that takes time but I'm getting there. I'll probably have it for next winter because it's taken longer than I expected. However, I'm happy with it. This is the fawn wool that I spun in the grease. Um, it's, I hope it won't run out, it may run out and I'll have to spin some more, I've still got some left. But I'm very pleased with the pattern, I absolutely love it. The weaving in was easy when I was doing the knit stitch um, but there it is. Lovely day today. It's breezy. The sun is out. I've got my washing out and it feels very, very springy. It's actually quite hot. My little garden is looking reasonably tidy and I'm going to knit outdoors. It's warm. But look at this mess. I've sped things up. The wool was tangled. If only it was that quick in real life. I need to just study my pattern chart to see where I was and off I go. Very slow progress at this point. It's because I'm weaving in when I have to go on the pearl row. But really I've learned over the years to be patient. Um, if I make a mistake I actually prefer to go back and correct it and then make sure in my mind I'm happy with my finished work. Anyway, enough for today. You want to see my vintage haul, I just know it. In my studio, let's just get right into it, shall we? This is a little Dunster pot I saw on Vinted. It's the yarn market at Dunster. It's a place that is close to my heart. I really love it there. It's a little village in Somerset. And actually, I'm researching my family tree. Didn't expect it, completely unexpectedly. I have a family historical connection with the village of Dunster. So I saw this on Vinted and I just had to have it. I paid 12 euros for it, but uh, because I took three items, including this gorgeous jacket, I was given a reduction. Now uh, this jacket is beautiful. It's from the 1950s and the seller said it belonged to her mum who is now 90. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful um, greeny blue. I'm terrible for green as you probably guessed. And it's beautifully tailored and I paid just six euros absolutely gorgeous this jacket Jaeger of London beautiful quality 
Now I took three items and got a reduction. This mirror was a gift for my daughter. It's pewter, double-sided hand mirror, and it cost me uh, 22 euros. Now I paid 35 in all for those three items, but the very generous seller also sent me, free of charge, this jacket, and it's not my style. It's, um, I like the front is cut out and the back goes down a little bit. But as I'm always willing to try out new styles, I tried it on with a pair of jeans and it looked absolutely great, completely different. It's got a loop here, which would normally take a thin belt, but I can style it with a chunky one. So I'm absolutely thrilled with that. So that's completely free. It was a gift from the seller on Vinted. I also got as a gift from this seller, this absolutely gorgeous bag that her friend used to make, um, she said about 20 years ago, I think. And I don't know if the friend used to sell them, but it's absolutely stunning. The workmanship, the finishing, it's much nicer than I've seen in the shops, a similar kind of bags. It's got a pocket inside. The fabric is delightful. It's kind of a brown aubergine, I think I would call that. So I also got the free bag. Not only that, but the seller also packed the parcel with some scarves. This is a polyester. It's a stole. It's kind of long and narrow. It's a stole style. It's actually not my style. I don't normally like animal prints, but it, it's it's quite nice actually. I, I think maybe in the autumn it would look quite elegant. So um, that's a scarf completely free from this very generous and lovely seller on Vinted. But not only was there one scarf in the packaging, I'm just checking the label here, it is polyester. Um, but there was another scarf that was used to help um, pack the parcel and it's a red, it's got a silky feel, but I don't think it's silk, um, it's a twill and I don't wear red unfortunately because I've got red hair and it doesn't really suit, it looks beautiful on some red heads but it doesn't suit me. Um, it hasn't got hand rolled hems so I know it's not been an expensive scarf but it's very pretty and I think on the right person that would look stunning so I might I might sell that now each parcel there's a little package within the main box and each one was wrapped like a gift this seller thought of everything she's absolutely you know she's such a lovely person and um, there were little ribbons around each parcel. It really was like my birthday or Christmas. It was, or both rolled into one. It was lovely. So uh, just another quick look at the bag. I didn't show you the pocket, pocket inside. The, the bag is lined and I will definitely be using this in the summer. Absolutely thrilled with that complete surprise that was in my package. Now, talking of bags, I actually normally use, or have been for the last 12 months, backpacks. And I got this backpack in tapestry style. Absolutely delightful. It's by Royal Tapisserie, uh, made in France. And I, I wanted a more dressy backpack. I don't know if you can see you can see just there the brand I wanted a more dressy backpack because I've got some sporty ones um, I like backpacks because they distribute the weight better I, you know if I'm anywhere my both my hands are free this has got um, a zipped pocket and behind it is another pocket and I have used it it's lovely lovely bag yeah backpacks um, I thought they were the way to go but I've seen so many other lovely bags and this is the same brand actually as a small handbag in one of my previous videos that I got again from Vinted. I paid five euros for this. They say it's leather trim but I don't know whether it's eco leather because it feels very
very smooth. Check out my other video where I got another handbag with a different design, same brand, and that's delightful too. I, I love that one. Two straps here, adjustable, and it's just the right size for a day out. Sorry if you can hear my cat in the background, he's having a mad half hour. <laughs> I also recently bought this shirt, which is lovely. It's by Lulu Castanet and it cost me three euros fifty. I particularly liked it because I like the sleeve. They've got like a little cut out there and a bu button on the sleeve. There's the label, Lulu, and it's in sort of a, um, it's cotton, a check material, and I thought it'd be perfect with a pair of jeans or pale trousers for the spring and summer. So that was my blouse by Lulu Castanet. Now then, I thought I'd unbox this with you. This is one of my recent purchases from Vinted. The blouse is from Vinted as well. I've taken the sellotape off and I just wanted to show you my latest purchase. I've just better move Dunster out of the way, I think. There's the inside, the postage ticket. Let's just move Dunster. I don't want any accidents to befall poor old Dunster. Anyway, I bought this. This, again, on vintage, as I said, cost me eight euros. I didn't know whether I wanted to pay so much, and my daughter said, oh, mum, just buy it. It's in linen, lightweight linen, in an apple green, green again, as you can see. But what I liked about it, one, it's slightly tailored, and it's got a gauze material which edges the collar and all around the edge of the garment. I think it would be nice with a little vest or sleeveless t-shirt underneath. Just move the camera so maybe I can show it you a bit better. There it is. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Didn't think it would be as good as this. And trousers go with it. Now I paid eight euros for the whole outfit on Vinted and it's in really good condition with the gauzy material again. It's a slight split, the three quarter length trousers. I am short, so they'll probably be a little bit longer than three quarter length on me. And just look, absolutely delightful. I can't wait for an excuse to wear this. So I'm just waiting for the sunny days to settle and I'm going to have some days out with this outfit, which I'll bring you in the future. I'll just fold it up. I do like to try and keep my things folded nicely and I, I will hang it in my wardrobe. But just because I'm just going to put it back on the table for now, I'll just fold it up. This I meant to show you at the end of my last video as part of the vintage haul. My daughter bought this. This is a soup tureen and she got it from my very favourite shop of the moment in Luca. Check out my last video and you can see the other items that I got from there. Um, it was expensive, 17 euros, but it's in absolute perfect condition. The little hole there for the ladle for the soup and she just loved the spring design on that nice and fresh so there you have it my vintage for the most part haul all my items there is an absolute mountain there and it cost me the grand total of taking off the mirror which was a gift and the soup tureen 34 euros 50 two jackets two bags a suit, two scarves, um, a blouse and my Dunster pop. That was an amazing haul I think and that is why I love thrifting. So thank you for watching my video all the way to the end. Please hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel because I would really appreciate that and also don't forget that notification bell if you want to be the first to hear about my new videos that have come out. See you next time.